Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And uh, in this video, we're going to just do a quick uh, basic review of a real estate term or something you might hear in real estate often called uh, making an offer all cash. So when I first learned about real estate, that was a very confusing term for, for me at, for some reason. Um, and to be honest, because it's because I couldn't really see the difference between buying an offer or buying a house all cash versus whatever the opposite was. And I couldn't really figure it out at the time. Like, who cares of how you buy it? Just as long as you can buy the property. That That's what I was thinking. And I still think that today. But we're going to go over the meaning of buying a house all cash. So if you just do a quick uh, Google search, what does buying all cash mean in real estate? It just means that a home buyer is going to purchase the property without a mortgage or without any sort of loan or outside uh, financing. So it says these offers are often more attractive to sellers as they mean no buyer financing fault or risk and usually a faster closing time. And that is true. So basically one of the biggest pitfalls or fears of a seller is that you're not going to get your home sold, not because of the buyer's fault, but because maybe um, the buyer had to get a loan and for, for some reason couldn't qualify for the loan, right? And so if you have, let's say, $300,000 of cash in your bank account and you don't need a loan, then... Uh, you could just go in and uh, make an offer, you know, do a wire transfer and closing, and then you're done. Now, would I ever, um, does it matter to me if if I get an offer, if let's say I'm the home seller and I get an offer all cash or not? Not really. In fact, I, I could see why it would be preferred. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter just as long as I'm able to get the price that I want and I'm able to sell the home. And if, you know, I don't sell the home, then maybe I keep their earnest money or something like that, right? So here's a quick um, list of the advantages and disadvantages of doing all cash. So as when you do an all cash offer, yes, you know, we talked about how you don't need a loan and it's a speedier process, but there's a disadvantage, right? And the biggest disadvantage is that you may overpay. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, let's say you get a loan, right? So you get a loan and you do the 20% down, 80% loan. The bank is going to do something called an appraisal. And the appraisal is going to involve what they call a CMA, Comparative Market, market Analysis. So what does that mean? Um, basically, they call them comps. They're going to take houses in the nearby area that sold recently that are most similar to yours. doesn't mean they're exactly the same, but they're most similar to yours. And they're going to see what they are. And so, for example, if you do an all cash offer, so let's say in the last six months, homes in the area are actually $300,000, right? For, for the same type of home that you want to buy. And you have, you know, you know, you're being stupid, right? And you have $500,000 in your bank account and you make an all cash offer. Um, if you ever make that offer with a loan, and even if you qualify the, for the loan, the bank won't, will, will deny you for it because um, when they do the appraisal and they do the comparative market analysis based on the, the homes that sold recently in, or that are similar to yours in the area, and they only see that, hey, in the last six months, most of the homes here we're selling at a $300,000 range and you're trying to get a loan for 80% of $500,000, they're going to deny the loan, right? So they prevent you from overpaying um, if you don't do an all cash offer. So that's like the disadvantage where a lot of home buyers, they don't know how to do, um, uh, they kind of aware of comps, but they rely on the real estate agent. And so, um, and you know, most of them typically go through the getting a loan and not doing all cash. But if you're working directly with the seller and you just want to do all cash, you have to do the, um, uh, the numbers yourself. You know, there's not going to be a third party for you do, to do it for you, such as the bank or an appraiser or whoever. And the biggest disadvantage is that you may overpay. Right. 
because you're you're being you didn't do the math or you just didn't do a quick analysis of the homes that sold in the area in the last uh you know three to six months or six to twelve months or whatever depending on the area but but that's kind of like the biggest um red flag in real estate is that you the way that you make money in real estate is when you buy and not when you sell so if you've already overpaid and let's say you're doing i don't know maybe like a rental or something like that um and um you could have gotten a house that's much cheaper uh based on the the other uh houses selling the area your your rate of return becomes a lot fat, um higher and the same thing with fix and flips obviously you wouldn't really overpay on fix and flips we have to kind of um do the exact opposite where we're going in the head in the other direction if you're going to do a fix and flip in three to 12 months. So uh, typically, um, and I'm not saying this is uh, true in all cases, if you have a house that's worth $250,000 and you are doing a fix and flip, you probably would have to get the house around $150,000. And that's in order for you to make a profit. If you buy a house at like a 10, 20% discount, you're going to lose money probably, right? So yeah, so that's the difference between all cash and um, not buying all cash. All cash just means you get no loan. So it's a speedier process. And if you can get a good house at a discount and you have all cash and the seller's willing to do it, go ahead and do it. But if you're unsure and maybe you're doing a deal for the first time, it might actually be in your advantage to, to even get a loan, even if you have all the cash, just so that you can just go through the process and somebody can check your work. All right. So this is Korean Atlanta Mentorship. Um, as always, uh, at the end of every video, we'll just do a quick plug for a group. If you're interested in joining, go ahead and click the link below uh, for the Google form and submit it to us. Or you can go ahead and email us uh, by finding out our email address in the about page of the YouTube channel and go from there. All right. We'll talk to you next time.